what's up everyone welcome to the beautiful south of Iceland where we are just preparing our vehicles over there to cross Longyearbyen, which I've never done before it is going to be quite interesting we're going from east to west and yeah just basically going to find our way up onto the glacier Just noticing how crazy this mountain range is. Absolutely sublime. So we've just passed the Skalpanas hut and that means we're getting close to actually getting onto the glacier, onto Longyokuk. Um, so far it's pretty slushy, so we're just crawling along some old jeep tracks. Um, there's a lot of snowmobiles that come out here as well, so we see a lot of tracks. Basically, yeah, we're just going to get to the glacier and then assess where we go, which route. There's a couple, a couple that go kind of more of a dodging crevasses way of travel and the other kind of just a longer snow journey. So, yeah, we'll see what awaits. have officially just reached Langjökull. Look, we are actually on the glacier. Next up, we'll begin to navigate as much on the green section as we can. See what happens. up on the glacier now it's been pretty insane we are on, still in the green section but we're quickly approaching more kind of sketchy terrain that we really have to make sure we are assessing where we're driving and yeah just checking the snow for crevasses at any time Katie's just did the worst high five ever. <laughs> it's officially ticked over midnight, so this is the midnight sun on Longyugu. Pretty white, but uh, yeah, just amazing to be up here. We look pretty cool from the sky reach the middle of the glacier now. It's quite cool to see. We're just cruising.
the main traverse, which is basically just a huge stretch of wide out at the moment. But because we went from east to west, we're hoping that we can get a sunrise on the western side of the glacier. So it's now 2.30 in the morning, should be sunrise in about half an hour. fog just cleared, we have an amazing view and 10 to 20 minutes until the sunrise, something cool could happen quite soon. We've made a right turn towards a high point on the glacier, around 1400-ish meters altitude. And yeah, we'll wait there and see what happens. Still doing that. Let me get the uh, sensors turned off on this bad boy. up again the weather has cleared absolutely awesome to see both where we came from and where we are now just on a 1400 meter plateau surrounded by glacier in all directions it's just amazing cars looking good just finished capturing an amazing sunrise and now that it's day, we're kind of just thinking to head back down the glacier on the west side. Uh, currently leading, which is fun. Gotta be pretty careful where you go. It's very nice. Stuck again. The uh, temperature changes left this weird crust and I've fallen through twice, so we'll see how we go.
making our way off the glacier now on the west side, just pumping up the tires a little bit. It's kind of crazy to see just how deflated we actually drive on the ice. They are down at 2 to 4 psi, depending on conditions. And yeah, just works really well. solid ground. You can see I'm pretty tired but pretty cooked. So I look forward to uh, getting our little car camping set up going in a few hours and have a nice sleep. It's now 8 in the morning. We were a solid eight hours on the glacier. We're finally back on solid ground, just pumping up our tires. And man, it is bright. It is the middle of the day type of bright right now. And yeah, I just wanted to end this little mission by saying, I guess, good morning from Iceland. And I'm gonna go to bed.